Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian from Whisper Status 74. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you are seeing me, please consider liking and subscribing. New subscribers, welcome to the family. Welcome to the community. I just got all caught up on the comments from the last few days. If I missed your comment, please resubmit it. I do respond to all questions, comments, and really appreciate them. This is the LG CX. You're looking at the Spears and Munsell demo disc. We're going to run this in Dolby Vision. We're going to film this in HDR. <clears throat> what you will see at times is I'm not going to change the aperture at all of the camera. You will see when the black level comes up at times, <clears throat> you'll see elevated blacks. Give the camera a second to lower and you'll see how black it really is. But I ran this demo already and if I tried to mess with the aperture, the bright scenes didn't adjust. I want to show you that I'm basically just out of the box in standard mode. So I'm not messing at all with the settings. I'm not lowering any settings. I'm just showing you basically out of the box what this image looks like. And without further ado, this is the Spears and Munsell demo disc. Please consider purchasing this disc to support their work. Do an amazing job. Crazy tools on here. I watched them use this to calibrate the AAH and the CX and uh, really brilliant stuff. And for layman's, it's definitely worth picking up as well just for the demo material alone. And again, the camera is going to have a hard time initially and with some of the black levels. What's interesting is on LEDs, I get a lot of banding. So I don't know if that's with the frame rate, but I'm not seeing that all with this. I wanted to do the CX out of the box just because of the, all the talk of software updates and erased blacks. I'm not seeing that here at all. Um, I will say when we go through some of these demos, the camera does pick up. A little bit of purplish before the camera levels out so the camera will get black as you see the image sit on screen for a couple seconds so just bear with me with that now as far as movie watching since I've had this display as I answer comments back I've watched Gemini Man, Doctor Sleep, Pacific Rim um, I watched Aquaman quite a few films and I've been very very impressed and there has been issues not issues but there's been times where the specular highlights do make me squint which is very impressive for OLED you're seeing the camera try to focus I apologize for that I was also say the sound on the CX is phenomenal. I was upstairs and I thought my system was on. It was actually just the sound of this display. That LG frame at the bottom actually does push the sound towards you. Typically that's just marketing, but it does a really good job. You'll be able to watch this in HDR as well on YouTube. And even these little highlights, you can't see them on the camera, those lights. They are visible here. You can um, watch this in HDR on YouTube just in the settings. Those three dots hit them and it should be available in either 1440p if you're watching a phone. 1080p it should be in HDR. It's being filmed in 4K HDR. What's interesting with OLEDs is with black detail. Um, that little shininess, that's the back of my phone by the way. It's not just the black levels around the image, it's within the image. Hair, skin, rocks. You can actually see actual no noise or aliasing in the feathers on the edges at all. I will say seeing the image here out of the box, it is brighter than when I saw them calibrated. Calibrated look is better and more natural, but I do like more pop to my image personally. Now the one with the pen, you're going to see a little bit of 
purplish, but that's just here um, with the camera. So even though you don't see any black there, it's the dark levels that create the contrast. I play the music, but I don't want to get hit for any copyright or anything. But Spears and Munsell is a great disc. Um, they tend not to do anything with copyright, so they're actually good for you to test if you want to put up your own content. You'll see this display go head-to-head -head with the Sony 950H, which is an LED, which does well. You see the purplish in the corner? That's just the camera. The cam there goes the camera. See how it normalizes? It'll do the same with the next test. Watch it normalize. There you go. Um, you'll see it side-by-side -side with the Sony 950H. And um, we'll be doing bright room performance as well to see how the Sony performs. Being an LED, it doesn't perform as well, but Sony looks amazing on this test. The 950H I still have here, so we'll be doing a lot of side-by-side -side comparisons with that. Side-by-side -side gaming is going to be a little tough because I don't have HDR pass-through on my splitter or my software, but we'll be able to do this test through the... Panasonic. Yeah, like that red halo on the left isn't here. That was on a previous shot. So very happy with what I see so far. Screen uniformity seems very good. I will do pixel tests on this and the Sony and screen uniformity on the Sony as well. 950H, that is. I don't have the um, AH. And the reason you're not seeing editing or intros in these videos as my um, editing software does not pass through HDR either. So. These demos are filmed in 8K. the scales, the depth of that is amazing. No noise in the feathers. Like that's unbelievable. I've seen no aperture, nothing adjusted. That's just what it looks like. But so far out of the box, loving the CX. It's not going anywhere. There'll be no returns. Even if it was a defective panel, they would send me another one. So you will see it for the longest time. You know, I will have it permanently. And we'll be comparing it to whatever else I have in here. Hopefully I'll have an AK in here at some point. But very, very happy with it so far. And we'll do a lot of footage on it and the 950H and back to movie reviews and keep the variety going. But I'm very impressed with it. So far, it's stunning. All right, guys, that is the demo. Very happy with it. I think it's beautiful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please consider liking and subscribing and let me know what you think. If you have the CX, you're thinking about it. If you like the Sonys, I am open and look forward to hearing from all of you. Take care.